The Novice Chase is up next then for the Manifesto Novices Chase. There's a two and a half mile up, grind one, and at the top hip to be square. Joshua Sills of the Ice King, Leon Van Rensburg has also got William the Conqueror, Fergus Falls, Darren Thompson, Kyle Arley Flip, David Robertson, Northern Life, Kevin Meenahan, Ozark Slipper, Vinnie Gerard, rooting for you, David Hilly, the long pause, Joshua Sutherland, and then Wild Neat, and the young ones for Craig Allen. So 11 this time, over the two and a half mile trip, and away they go, back over the ordinary fences now, the mild may course, and hip to be square, as in the lead, pulling for its head, the Ice King, and stable mate William the Conqueror, also close up, not usual to see Leon Van Rensburg with too many front runners. They're both up there in the valley at the moment, rooting for you is also close up. The pace probably isn't that hot though, as they make their way to the first of the 14 in this manifesto. Norris's chase as they get over it, they're all safely over it with Craig Allen's wild neat. Just the back marker, also running quite wide on the track that one. But the Ice King has opened up by three or four as they get to the second. So they're all safely over, hit to be square second, uh, and William the Conqueror third. In comes rooting for you, Ozark Slipper in the green, as they get to the third fence, and over that one they all go. They're all safely over it, with the Craig Allen pair at the back, and the Leon Van Rinsburg pair at the front. So it's the Ice King in front, from William the Conqueror on the outside of hip to be square, and Ozark Slipper and rooting for you as they get over number four, and there's a fauna there, hip to be square's gone. So... Out of the race, hip to be square. That one would have been one of the big fancies as well. And the Ice King is five or six clear. And Joshua Sutherland has still got the long pause in the race, and that one is in second. And over the fifth they go. And the young one's just struggling a bit out the back. But the Ice King is clear in front. On the long pause in second, William the Conqueror third. On the outside, Fergus Falls. He's making it a little bit closer. Oh, Fergus Falls nearly lived up to his name there. And straight through the top of that one. I don't really know what Darren Thompson was thinking when he named that one. I want to call it Chaser or something Falls. Yeah, that's really asking for trouble. Maybe he didn't realise it was going to be a jumper. Anyway, this will be the last next time round. And over it they all go. And the Ice King is in the lead by about a length and a half. The long pause in second as they pass the winning post for the circuit to go. Gap of three or four lengths then to a line of four of them. Ozark Slipper rooting for you, Northern Life, and William the Conqueror. Then Wild and Neat, who's getting a bit closer. Fergus falls around the outside. Kailani Flip winning a nice quiet race on the rail. And the back marker is Young Ones, who's got them all in sight, but no more than a dozen lengths off the lead. So the Ice King it is in the lead, as it has been from the outset. Racing down towards this next fence with a lead of two lengths to the long pulls in second and Ozark slipper third. Rooting for you is fourth and then William the Conqueror fifth. The field just beginning to bunch behind this leader now as they take the eighth. And Wild Neat is the one that's coming around the outside. Jockey's just taking a bit of a tug on that though. Doesn't want it to get to the front too soon. So they get to the ninth and William the Conqueror out jumped. His stable mate there and landed in the lead. The long pause is second. The Ice King is now just dropped back into the third. Wild Neat on the outside of them fourth as they get over the tenth. And it's now William the Conqueror who's in the lead. William the Conqueror from the Ice King in second. The long pause in Wild Neat. Northern Life is running a big race then. Rooting for you. Young Ones is trying to get into it. Fergus flips. He's on the outside. Kalani flip on the inside as they get over the eleventh. And over that one they go. And William the Conqueror. William the Conqueror from Wild Neat, the long pause, then comes the Ice King, Ozark Slipper, Northern Life, Young Ones are almost in a line now, behind this leader, William the Conqueror, William the Conqueror's too clear of a line of about eight of them, who are all ready to challenge, over the third last they go, William the Conqueror landed in the lead, three clear, Ozark Slipper now moves into second, the long pause on the inside is third, then Wild Neat, Fergus falls, Northern Life, nothing's coming out of the pack, particularly quickly, rooting for you, trying to run on around the outside, but over the second last 
they go and William the Conqueror is there to be caught but he's still four lengths clear and it doesn't look like anything's getting anywhere near him at the minute it's William the Conqueror he's got one to jump and a short run in William the Conqueror if he jumps this nicely he surely won it he comes down towards the final fence jockey has a little look behind straightens himself up ready for it pops over it gets over it nicely Ozark Slipper has gone into overdrive to try and catch it but he's got no chance William the Conqueror takes it pretty easily from Ozark Slipper wide meet furthest falls more than life a long pause in Kyle Arnie Flip and rooting for you and all the way back to young ones and a pretty easy win really for William the Conqueror to be fair that field didn't take much conquering they just let him get away really and William the Conqueror takes it for Leon Van Rensburg, Ozark Slipper or a second for Vinnie Gerard, Wild Neat for Greg Allen third, Fergus Fall for Aaron Thompson was fourth and Northern Life for Kevin Meenan was fifth.